You do not have a hazardous material endorsement on your commercial driver license. You may drive a vehicle transporting hazardous materials when the vehicle does not require placards. Which of these happens when a tire blows out at highway speeds? A vibrating feeling. You'll be placed out of service for 24 hours if your blood alcohol concentration back is any detectable amount below 0.04%. What should you do when your vehicle hydroplanes? Release the accelerator. Which of these statements is not true about backing a heavy vehicle? You should back slowly until you slightly bump into the dock. On which fires can you use water? Tire. According to the commercial driver handbook, why should you limit the use of your horn? It can startle other drivers. When driving through roadway work zones, you should watch for sharp pavement drop-offs. When driving at night, you should adjust your speed to keep your stopping distance within your sight distance. What is the most important reason to inspect your truck or bus? Safety. As the blood alcohol concentration back goes up, what happens? Judgment and self-control are affected. Which of these statements is true about warning other drivers of a stopped vehicle? Move the rear reflective triangle back if the driver's vision is obscure within 500 feet. Which of these statements is true about engine overheating? Never remove the radiator cap on a pressurized system until the system has cool. In your mirror you see a car approaching from the rear. The next time you check your mirror you don't see the car. To change lanes you should wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. After driving for several hours on a long trip you were feeling sleepy. What is the best thing to do? Park in a safe place and take a nap. When you must leave the road to avoid a hazard or emergency you should keep in mind that it is less dangerous to drive onto the shoulder than to risk a collision. Which of these statements is the proper way to signal for lane change? Signal early and change lanes slowly and smoothly. Whenever you double your speed, it will take about times as much distance to stop. 4. You are driving a heavy vehicle with a manual transmission. You have to stop the vehicle on the shoulder while driving on an uphill grade. Which of these is good rule to follow when putting the vehicle back in motion? Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. To correct the drive wheel braking skid, you should stop braking. Which of these statements is true about cargo types? In stable loads, e, g, hanging meat, livestock, or require extra caution on curves. Which of these statements is true about other drivers? Short-term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Which of these is a good thing to do when you steer to avoid a crash? Don't turn the steering wheel any more than needed. Which of these statements is true about double clutching and shifting? You can use the tachometer to tell you when to shift. You are driving a vehicle at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement. About how much total stopping distance will you need to bring it to a stop? The length of a football field. Where or how is cargo blocking used? In the front, back and or sides of the cargo. The road you are driving on becomes very slippery due to ice. Which of these is a good thing to do? Stop driving as soon as you can safely do so. Which of these is not part of the engine compartment pre-trip inspection? 
the valve clearance. Which of these statements is true about overhead clearance? The weight of a vehicle changes its height. Where must you keep shipping papers when transporting hazardous materials? In a pouch on the driver's door or on the seat. To prevent brake fade, you should select a gear which will keep your vehicle to a safe speed on steer down grades. You are checking your tires during a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Tires of mismatched sizes should not be used on the same vehicle. Which of these statements is not true? A drinker can control how fast his or her body absorbs and gets rid of alcohol. Retarders can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction. Which of these is especially true about your tires in hot weather? You should check tire mounting and air pressure before driving. Which of these statements is true about cold weather driving? Windshield washer antifreeze should be used. What should you do if a car coming toward you at night keeps its high beams on? Look to the right edge of your lane or right side of the road. For your safety, when you place your reflective triangles you should hold the triangles with the reflective side toward the oncoming traffic. Which of these is important to remember about emergency braking? If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. How far should a driver look ahead of the vehicle while driving? 12 to 15 seconds. Which of the following is not a type of retarder? Robotic. Which of these statements is true regarding the use of drugs while driving? Prescription drugs are allowed if a doctor says the drugs will not affect safe driving ability. Which of these statements is true about staying alert to drive? Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. You are driving a long vehicle that makes wide turns. You want to make a left turn from Elm Street onto Oak Street. There are two left lanes marked A and B on Elm Street and Oak Street is a four-lane street with two lanes in each direction. You should use left turn lane B. Which of the following best describes how sleep debt can be paid off? It can only be paid off by sleeping. If you have a heavy load that is slowing you down on an upgrade, you should shift into a lower gear. What is the proper way to hold a steering wheel? Both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. Which of these statements is true about weather driving conditions? When the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roads. You are driving a heavy vehicle at 35 miles per hour. The speed limit is 55 miles per hour. The safest speed for you vehicle is 35 miles per hour. If you have been drinking alcohol before you drive, you should wait for it to wear off.